disease and respiration. In order to stay alive, we need food to eat. However, have you thought that plants need food too? Of course, but how plants, how these plants get food? Plants get food using a process of photosynthesis. Plants have green pigments called the chlorophyll that is stored in the chloroplast. This pigment aids in capturing the light energy from the sun that enables plants to change it into chemical energy stored in the food. Photosynthesis is a process of food making done by plants and other autotropic organisms. The presence of chlorophyll enables this organism to make their own food. The autotropic organisms require light energy, carbon dioxide, and water to make food. In order for the photosynthesis to take place, plants need sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water. Plants take the carbon dioxide and water and energy coming from the sun and a chemical reaction create in the form of sugar or glucose and some oxygen that are released into the atmosphere. There are two stages of photosynthesis, the light-dependent reaction and the Calvin cycle. The light-dependent reaction happens in the presence of light. It occurs in the thylakoid membrane and converts light energy to chemical energy. Water, as one of the raw materials of photosynthesis, is utilized during this stage and facilitates the formation of the free electrons and oxygen. The energy harvested during this stage is stored in the form of ATP and NADPH. These products will be needed by the next stage to complete the photosynthesis process. The Calvin cycle, also known as the dark reaction, is a light-independent phase that takes place in the stroma and converts the carbon dioxide into sugar. This stage does not need light energy but needs the product of the light reaction. Thus, it occurs immediately after the light-dependent phase. Now, I want you to look at the diagram to identify the reactants and products produced in the photosynthesis reaction. Try to focus on some important information of the diagram. In photosynthesis, plants capture the light energy and convert it into chemical energy that is stored in food. In the equation, the reactants are carbon dioxide and water that produces sugar, and oxygen through the help of the light energy or sunlight. Photosynthesis occurs in the chloroplast found in the leaves of the plants. Food is considered as the major source of energy for all organisms. In cellular respiration, the food is broken down to release the energy or the ATP in the process of oxygen. It takes place in the cell, specifically in the mitochondria. In the mitochondria, sugar combines with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP. The breakdown glucose involves three major steps, the glycolysis, the Krebs cycle, and the electron transport chain. In the equation of cellular respiration, the products that are used are carbon dioxide and water from the reactants, glucose, and oxygen. The byproduct of photosynthesis is oxygen that is being released by plants. Breathing in oxygen is necessary so that our cells can carry out cellular respiration and generate ATP. The two biological reactions that complement each other in the environment are photosynthesis and respiration that occurs in a reverse manner. In the process of respiration, oxygen and glucose yield water and carbon dioxide. Oxygen and glucose yields water and carbon dioxide, while carbon dioxide and water yields glucose and oxygen in photosynthesis, as you can see in your screen. Both photosynthesis and respiration can function enough as living organisms provide carbon dioxide for plants that undergo photosynthesis and produce glucose. Bacteria and plants release oxygen that is required for all living organisms for respiration. 
The equation of cellular respiration and photosynthesis are almost opposite processes, meaning the interchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide by cellular respiration and photosynthesis helps in maintaining both atmospheric oxygen plus carbon dioxide and deeper in the form of energy that is being absorbed or released as shown in your data. So, in summary, photosynthesis takes carbon dioxide and water plus sunlight to create oxygen and sugar, which is exactly what cellular respiration needs. The cellular respiration takes the sugar and oxygen to create carbon dioxide and water plus ATP, which help in photosynthesis. And this cycle repeats over and over again. So, here is the table of comparison of the photosynthesis and cellular respiration. So, I hope you learned something new today. I hope to see you again on my next lesson. Stay safe and God bless. Please don't forget to follow me on YouTube. Bye!